Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ashnox. I got the patch notes. We got quite a few things. We're getting a lot of summons for free. Uh, we got the balance uh, adjustment preview as well. Oh my god, so many things to go over. So, Days of Destiny. Man, it's been two years. Second year anniversary for Epic 7. Congratulations to everyone. Hope you guys get lucky with these summons, with the free pulls, but that's not only the free stuff we're getting, right? There's a login event. And look at this stuff. Like, we're getting all these things right here. And that's a four piece immunity set. I'll show you guys the stats. Yo, five star RGB summoning ticket. A free five star hero. It's random. You know, hopefully you get, you know, a new hero. Or like, if it's a duplicate, it's a, you know, a memory imprint for a Moonlight hero. Or RGB, uh, if the hero's good, hopefully. That's the gear right here, item level 78. Yo, look at the substats. The chest for a support hero is very, very good. These boots, man, I could use that on Seaside Bellona. You know, you wanna hit harder, you want to have immunity, there you go. Look at that, like very, very nice. Good luck with the rolling, guys, good luck. And let's look at the other stuff here. So, of course, the free summons. Oh, baby. I know a lot of you guys are going to be getting some purple shine and be getting, you know, ML 5-star hero, of course. And that's also three gold transmit stones and a half. You know, if, if, if you don't, if you didn't think about that, well, that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So, the patch, real quick. Should you pull for Luna or for Tamarine? Well, you are, you know, low in the Covenant Bookmarks department. Who should you go for? Well, it depends. Uh, if you want to go the smart way, you go Tamarine if you don't have her and you want to progress in the game because she's used in multiple areas of the game. She trivialized a lot of PvE content. You can use her in PvP as well for offense, you know, in, uh, in Arena. You could sort of use her as well in the... It, it, it's gonna be too hard to pull off, though, in World Arena. They're just gonna ban you. So we got also the second week of the uh, side story. Work on that, guys. Get your uh, death artifact this time and just get that first so you get more event currency. Just limit break this thing. You don't need to enhance it, guys. Don't waste your experience, your charms. Do not waste them. I repeat, do not waste them. So, Tamarine, right? She's going to be helping you in so many different areas of the game. That hero has so many things going in her kit, it's ridiculous. Yo, she is able to heal herself to full with skill 3 when it's ready. You can use Isaria, uh, the Earth, uh, you know, 5-star Ranger to reset the cooldown of her skill 3 if you don't want to wait for 8 turns. Uh, so, there you go. You can have Prophet Candlestick 3-star artifact to lower the cooldown of her S3 as fast as possible. And then, yo, she goes in Idol's form. She's able to heal the whole team, push your combat units by 50%, give you attack buff for 2 turns. And then she starts using skill 1, which triggers a dual attack with the highest attacker in the team. And you already have attack buff on you. Like, it's crazy. She's able to remove uh, buffs off of the target as well with skill 1. Insane. Insane. So, Melissa, I know some players might be going for Melissa. She's actually very good after her buff. Uh, you know, she can, uh, you know, easily take out Remnant Vod. You know, you curse, you deal damage against someone else. The curse target takes a bunch of damage. The, the one that gets hit probably goes down or something like that. She's a mage. She's amazing. But yeah, worth mentioning, of course. Melissa, very, very powerful now. But Tamarine, yo, she's gonna helping you. She's gonna help you so much. Luna, on the other hand, here's my beef with Luna. In Wyvern, if you're trying to use her in Wyvern, you need to land Defense Break before she uses Skill 3, which is a Defense Break, right? You can have the exclusive equipment to get Attack Break on Skill 3 as well. But my beef with it is that first you need Defense Break to be applied by someone else, so she, get, she deals full damage with Skill 3, and then it's random. You know, the amount of hits you're going to be doing with Skill 1 to lower the cooldown of Skill number 3, which has a 10-turn uh, cooldown, I believe. Yo, between 1 and 3 turn uh, reduction and between 1 and and like, what is it, 2 or 3 extra hits with skill 1. Yes, there's that potential of big burst damage, but, you know, outside of PvE, in PvP, like, what you gonna do? You gonna bring Isaria? That's, a, that's two heroes already to do the job of, uh, you know, uh, heroes that do it properly by themselves already. And then, 
Uh, she is ice. Of course, she gets elemental advantage with skill number three at least. Uh, she's got a lot of... Uh, you know, she's very strong, like, in terms of damage per hit, but you need to set up the defense break. Now, if you want to rely on her for defense break and attack break, that's going to be an issue because, well, it's random. So you don't know exactly when it's going to be happening. Uh, of course, on the wave one, if she can get the skill three ready for the wave two, but the thing is, uh, maybe get super lucky, she decides to use it at the start of the battle versus the boss, the wyvern, or some other time she gets unlucky and then she uses it later, but then you're, like, losing... Uh, you know, that, that momentum, you want to have the defense break. You cannot have her as your sole defense breaker in the team. Of course, a two-turn defense break, but what if it gets resisted? You know, 15% innate resist is a thing. So, yeah, that's also a problem. Uh, so, I don't like it because she... You need another defense breaker to set up the big damage of skill number three. And then it's too many things from one hero. I mean, like, you rely too much on one hero if you're trying to land these two... Uh, debuffs. So your success rate, if you rely solely on her for these two debuffs, then uh, your success rate is going to drop as well. And uh, you kind of want the debuffs to be applied on boss ASAP. And if you get unlucky with the skill 1 to lower the cooldown of skill 3, then, you know, like, uh, your success rate isn't going to be too good. The boss is going to be attacking a random hero in the team if you don't land those debuffs. And then, boom, your, your, your run is failed. So, yeah. Okay, uh, let's uh, look at these uh, balance. Uh, maybe I'll uh, talk more about uh, Luna versus uh, Tamarine as I uh, go through the balance adjustment preview notice. Dev notes, developers notes. Oh, baby. Sage balance season. Oh, my God. He is finally here. Uh, little Queen Charlotte, that's kind of odd because she's already great. Uh, Ceres. Ceres uh, is actually good, yo. Ceres is good. Like, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see what kind of buff she gets, but she doesn't really need a buff, by the way. Uh, Landy, she does need a buff, so we'll see that. Uh, Maya, Pearl Horizon, Dollmaker, Pearl Horizon. Okay, Artifact, Guiding Light, Bastion of Perlusia, Dux Noctis, Andrew's uh, Crossbow, and Silver Rain. Yo, Silver Rain's already really good. What you talking about? What you talking about? Bastion of Perlusia is already really good, too. Dox Noctis is pretty good. You build up your, your the stats, right? Guiding Light, this is good too. Like, maybe it's 100% chance. Oh my god. Okay, let's start it off here. Good lord. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, the, when the target is uh, a slap after the attack, increases the caster's combat readiness by 20%. Okay, that, that that's really nice right there. Gonna be able to cycle faster. If I'm missing something, guys, something new, let us, let us know in the comment section. Also, let us know what you guys think about these... Uh, Developers notes here, the balance uh, adjustment preview. Let us know what about, uh, well, what you think about Luna versus Tamarine, you know, for players that are, help new players in the comment section as well. Yo, guide them, guide them. You, I know Luna got those assets, but you know, you have to think about the long term. Tamarine will help you so much. She even has attack percentage memory imprint for the team, for God's sakes. Like, she is so good, so, so good. And she can tank as well, provide all these things. You use her in trial, uh, Hall of Trials, she's gonna help you so much. Anyways, attacks all enemies by uh, summoning Storm of Cloud, blah, blah, blah. 85% uh, chance to put them to sleep. Okay, 5% more here, That that's good. Uh, we've got, okay, skill three is extremely underwhelming. A lot of players decide to just use the skill one instead of, instead of using the skill number three. When the enemy is defeated, silences all remaining enemies for one turn? Penetrates defense, but cannot trigger a critic. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy now. This is actually usable. Yo, if you defeat, if you lower them enough, it, that means the whole team is slept, right? You sleep their team, let's say, and then you start to pick them off one by one, and then you, like, you soften them up, and then you finish uh, that target with the Eye of Death. Yo, silence, in case they break out a stealth or something like that. Hmm, yeah, and this is a single target attack, it's not an AoE attack, because your comp will... You don't want AoE attack when you're going for, you know, a control setup. Bell, uh, you know, Sage Balance Season is dangerous because when you're using a non-attack skill, he's getting combat units. He's cycling. He's cycling, baby. Soul Burn. Uh, all skill cooldown decreased by two turns. Uh, yeah. Wait, what is the difference? It's now on this... No, it's the same skill. It's on Eye of Death. But this thing is very good because it's lowering the cooldown of skill 2 and skill number 3. So yeah, man. Like, I'm not going to be reading these things. If I miss something obvious, let us know in the comment section. Damage dealt by the skill will be increased. 
Okay, I mean, it's a skill one, you know, probably 187% multiplier. Uh, well, that's good. That's good. When the target is Dark Elemental Hero, increase damage dealt and inflict additional damage to all enemy. What? Except for the target proportional to the caster's attack. Yo, what the? What is this? Like, this is like a Rengar special drink? Yeah, we don't know the multiplier on this thing, but uh, it could be that. It, it, Rengar special drink is based on... Uh, it's it's like a bleed. If I... Is it? Is, is a burn or a bleed? I think it's a it's like a bleed hit. 30% of your attack penetrates 70% of the target's defense. That's what it is. The will of uh, Lamar. When the target is... Uh, that, that's what it is. That's what it was. Uh, it was, uh, you know, smash the enemy with a sword and attacks penetrate defense by 50%. Skill number three. Oh my god. So extra damage right there. But if they, uh, they, they are sleeping, well, you're going to be waking them up. If the target is Dark Elemental, which is like how you counter Dark. She hit so hard. Okay, that, that's cool. Like, she didn't need a buff. She didn't need that. That's the thing. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Man, like, I don't know how much damage damage dealt by his kill increase. Do they talk about it here? They don't say how much, like, percentage based. Uh, okay. Cerise triggers a dual attack from a. What the? No! No! No, no. Cerise is already good. Oh my god. Now she's OP. Triggers a dual attack from random. Okay, it's random at least. Oh my god. Okay, well, if you were complaining that Cerise was bad, well, she was already good, but now, now, now she's OP. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, luminous uh, explosion. Exploded magical sphere, stunning for one turn, making them unable to be buffed for two turns. Oh god. Yo, this is... Th these are some huge changes, guys. Attacks all... Yes, okay. Attack using an advantageous, advantageous element. Oh, man. God, this is, like, ridiculous. And the soul burn... What was it before? That's what it was, wasn't it? It's damage increase. Attack... Okay. Oh, man. I'm until it... Yo, I mean... God, like, she is really good now. Oh my god. Okay, Landy, baby. Landy. Fires at an enemy, increase combat readiness by 15%. Combat readiness increase and amount of fighting spirit gain are double when the enemy is buffed. Thank you, that's great. You need to counter buffs properly, so that's good. That's good. But, uh, yeah, I mean... The fighting spirit gain, that, that's the big thing. That's the big thing. Because she was already getting double the effect before. And the damage will be increased. Hmm. Okay. That's very nice. Okay. Increase the caster's attack by 20%. Oh, God. Now, we got 60%. She builds up faster. She snowballs harder. Uh, faster. And harder. God. Very nice. Okay. I mean, she... That's the thing, though. She was not building fast enough. She wasn't building that momentum fast enough. And then she would just get taken out, you know? Uh, so the AoE attack here uh, grants all... What? In increased speed. Yes, that we know. Oh, for all allies now. Oh, my God. Okay, that's good. Now you can activate, uh, you know, heroes that deal more damage with speed or, like, you know, Sid. Cool. Uh, and also... What else do we have? Increase combat readiness by 15%. Yeah, we know about that. Oh no! Oh no! This is crazy! Penetrates the target's defense by 50%? Oh no, this is insane! Yo, okay, damage dealt was increased before, but now this is... We're talking about penetration of defense, which you cannot land defense break, you know, in PvP against players with high effect resistance. Or you got immunity, you know, uh, I mean, that's that's how you want it. That's how you want it. You want damage penetration, you know, in the skill build. And 50% is pretty solid. You know, the defense break is 70%. Wow. And... Oh, no. Grant an extra turn! Are you kidding? Oh, baby. And she's 20% attack per turn. She's built When she's attacking, not per turn, guys. If she's on a counter, 
or she's getting triggered in a dual attack, she's building that attack. Oh god, she is going to hurt real bad. Yo, she's definitely gonna be meta now. She's definitely gonna be meta. Let's, let us know what you guys think about her in the comment section. This is ridiculous, man. Yo, Maya. Okay, uh, that's cool. Uh, before decreasing combat chance by 30%. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. And morale boosts. So now 75% chance to provoke all enemies for one turn. Okay. 100% chance to decrease attack for two turns. Oh, God. Yo, this hero is actually good, like, early on in PvP. Like, a new server type of deal. Like, I face, I did face Maya before. She's quite annoying. You know, before you get, like, your immunity sets. Yo, uh, if you can strip the enemy team and you can land this. This is not... Guys, this is not an attack. So, you don't have to worry about elemental disadvantage. Think uh, Falconer Clary. That's what it is. Yo, this is a 75% chance to provoke. It's only one turn. But, yeah, uh, you know, uh, Cecilia can do that. But she deals damage. So, elemental disadvantage is a big problem for her. But this, you don't have to worry about it. You strip, you do that. Attack break, uh, you know, for two turns? Th this is ridiculous, guys. Uh, yo, and then you got the defense buff. Okay, cooldown reduction as well. Yo, we're definitely gonna be starting seeing like some Maya. There's no way. There, there's no way. Uh, I mean, th this thing is beef right there. This skill three. Too many things are changing when you're using this thing. This will turn the tide of the battle. Can you imagine? You're forced to be attacking her. Their attack are broken. You know, you're trying like uh, you're trying to stall them. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, she's definitely gonna be great. She's definitely great. Uh, she, she's a knight, so... Yo, she, she's a knight, guys. She's a knight. She can cut because of the artifacts. Uh, she could cut in between your, your cleave or something like that. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be uh, quite annoying. I mean, not super meta, but we're gonna start seeing her. Pearl Horizon. Uh, increased combat thrillness of the caster by 10% per sleep debuff inflicted. Okay, I mean, she's gonna be uh, cycling... You know, uh, faster because of that. If you get really lucky, uh, the more, uh, you know, sleep debuff that are applied, the more CR she's going to get, which is good. Thank you. Thank you. Ignore effect resistance is the type of stuff you want to see on a control hero, guys. 15% innate resist is a problem. You ignore effect resistance. That's huge right there. So, you, you know, you got the, the stun here and damage equivalent 10% of the target's max health. Um, wasn't that how it worked before? Or they just re they they just rewrote this thing so we understand better. Uh, targets max health. That that's what it was. What isn't it? Well, if I'm wrong, let us know in the comment section. So same deal here for uh, her. You know, specialty change, equivalent 15% of the targets max health, and uh, after awakening, 30%. Okay, ignore effect resistance. Man, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, speed rune, 80% chance to decrease speed of the enemy for two turns. Okay, uh, more reliable. Can't complain. Guiding light. Okay, what's up here? What's up here? Start about grand stealth for one turn. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yo, if you get stealth, that means if they're counter-attacking you, you got a reduction of 50% of AoE attack damage. So that's big right there. Uh, I like that. This is uh, quite a big... This is a huge survivability increase versus counterattacks. Massive, guys. Okay. Especially, you're going to use an AoE attack. There's a big chance counterattacks will be happening, right? Very cool. Yo. Uh, guiding Light uh, on, on Landy. Called it, you know, when she was, uh, you know getting released and I, I felt like this could be very dangerous and yeah i mean especially after the buff now for landy and guiding light stealth granted at the end of the turn can be activated once every two turns uh yeah it's just rewarding that place that that thing okay it's not a hundred percent chance now uh you know at the end of the turn but i, I do like this at the start of the battle very nice fashion of pollution oh god <gasps> no 
No, wow, immunity for one turn. Yo, that's huge. Now you can control this. You know it's who it's gonna affect. You know, your highest attacker in the team. So they don't need to build immunity. So you could go with the new hunt's rune, the, the two-piece penetration set that's gonna get released whenever the new hunt comes out, you know? Uh, yo, that's hype. Or, you know, crit set, you know, whatever two-piece you want. One more, more damage, there you go. That's actually really nice. That's really, really nice right there. Dogs Noctis. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yo. This is, this is really good. This is really, really good, guys. 32% attack for the caster. It builds up in 8, you know, 8 crits versus 12. And it's, it's twice as fast. Are you kidding me? Yo, man. It's 32 now percent attack versus 24 before and it's you know you build that thing twice as fast oh my god this is very good very very good you know in a long battle oh boy put that on landy i don't even want to know I, I don't even want to know penetrates defense by 50 percent are you kidding if she gets an extra turn oh no this is gonna be a disaster facing a landy. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Andrew's crossbow, 100% chance to remove three souls. Okay, got buff, 50% more effective there. Silver rain. Okay. What is this? What? Oh my God! No! No! They didn't do that to silver rain. Oh no! This is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so good, guy. I lie, except for the guys with the highest attack. You can control Silver Rain. This is insane. This is so strong, guys. Silver Rain, I, I heavily use Silver Rain on my teeth. You know, Rosied, Judith. Put Silver Rain now. You can control the attack buff. This is this is massive, yo. This will take place on the 11th of uh, well November, November the 26th. God, what do you guys think about these balance adjustments? I feel like a lot of stuff is ridiculous. Yo, land silver rain, huge. You know, Dark Knocked is huge. Bastion of Pollution, pretty nice. More stats. Guiding Light, I like the stealth early on. I talked about it. Why? You know, counter attacks. And, uh, you know, Pro, uh, Pro Horizon, uh, she's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be more reliable. You know, the ignore effect resistance, especially, is really nice. Definitely need to showcase her. I'll do it after she gets buffed, actually, since I didn't do it yet. Sorry, guys. And, uh, yo, I mean, definitely gonna be seeing some more Maya. I, I, I kinda wanna build her. Like, I, I will build her. On account number three with my bruisers, I will build Maya. Show you guys. You can make her super fast and then, you know, make stuff happen with skill number three. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Landy is ridiculous. Landy's crazy now. This this is very very good. It's the extra turn too. Oh man! And then you got speed buff for the whole team too. Oh, boy, this is gonna be really really good. But you need to have the fighting spirit uh, full, you know, to penetrate defense by fifty percent. But that can happen if the team that you're facing has buffs. So you know, Ceres, you know, she didn't need to be buffed. Ceres didn't need to be buffed. But now, you know, Elemental Advantage, you know, with uh, the skill number three, you know, I'll take that. Uh, and the damage is increased too. The damage was pretty respectable on Ceres, actually. If you check at the end of your battles, uh, I even tested her in PvE content as, as a damage dealer, and it was pretty solid. Yo, the dual attack, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, Ceres, baby. Okay, very nice. And, you know, uh, Little Queen Charlotte, she didn't need to be buffed, but she is getting buffed. I don't know what kind of multiplier she's gonna have on skill 1 after that, but that, that's, that's pretty nice, man. That's pretty nice. She's gonna be picked more often, that's for sure. And uh, Sage Balance Season, you know, like, he needed a buff. He needed a buff. Is this good enough, though? Is this good enough? Well, I feel like it is. Like, I, okay, no, no, no. To really make him OP like he was before, it needs to dispel two buffs. Now you can use Fallen Cecilia, since he got nerfed, to uh, avoid uh, losing your immunity set. 
but in RTA you just pick Fawn Cecilia or you ban her and then you don't you pre-ban or you ban phase her. You don't have to worry about her. So yeah, now 5% more, that, that's well that's very welcome. And the cooldown decrease of all skills, uh cooldown skill cooldown is decreased by I feel like uh, it's just the wording because yeah. Anyways, like I like it. I like it. It's 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 quite powerful. Uh, he's already very dangerous against the right team, but now the skill three will definitely make things very dangerous for you, man. Penetrate defense, yo. The, the, you're gonna build him with high health. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, listen. It's not the uh, blood moon haste. What? How does it work? Pe oh, damage dealt increased proportional to the caster's lost health. Okay. So that means like if he's built with low amount of health, uh, low survivability, then yo, if he survives and he gets health from this skill, by the way, guys. Oh, this could be really dangerous. Uh, he gets, he goes to max health. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, it was max health before. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to be able to down some players, uh, some targets with that, uh, you know, and uh, very dangerous. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. We'll see uh, what uh, how these things are gonna be live, you know. And you know, Luna versus Tamarine. Definitely go for Tamarine if you don't have her, guys. So yeah, let us know what you guys think. Good luck with the summoning. Good luck with rolling the immunity, uh, you know, four piece uh, that you're gonna be getting. Uh, good luck with your five star RGB ticket. I'll be doing a summoning video as well. Okay. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.